Yo guys, what is up? Scammer Vaults here, and today I'm bringing you guys a different video. I've always gotten asked this question, um, just like you know, way back then I did a VM tutorial. If you guys want to check that out, I did it for VirtualBox. It'll be in the top right corner. But people also ask me how I actually get these pop-ups. I mean, I've even gotten accused from stealing pop-ups from certain forum websites, which I never actually get pop-ups from those websites because usually the numbers don't even work. Um, and all the pop-ups I do get, I do post on my forum, which will be in the top of the description. I did take the videos down and I kind of put it down for a little bit, but it is back up and basically that's because the hoster um, promised me something and they didn't fulfill it so I got rid of it and went to somebody else but it is now back up so TSU Tech Scammers United is up and you could click it in the first link in the comments below I'm not sure if I said the description before but in the comments below and whenever I'm not doing a scammer video and I find a pop-up I'll post on there if you guys have pop-ups you can post on there but yeah, so today I'm actually going to show you guys how to get some of these pop-ups. And there's um, mainly one way that is the golden way is getting going onto these ad websites, which are commonly misspelled domains, you know, like Twitter, Gmail. But instead of having it be like Gmail, it'll be like gmail.com. See, it autofills gmail.com. And yeah, virus. Um, but yeah, something like gmail.com or you know ttwitter.com or um, ggmail.com, which is just a g added on a Gmail. Um, uh, YouTube, which is a really old one, but sometimes I still get pop-ups from it. YouTube.com, um, yoptube.com. You know, there's tons of them. I actually listed them in my Discord. To someone that asked me a question um, so I can actually pull up that list right now so um, gmail.com to Twitter I pretty much listed the ones that I just told you guys yeah ggmail.com YouTube and these are how I get my pop-ups and what you have to do is you know some people say oh I can't get a pop-up you have to switch up your web browser sometimes because sometimes it'll come up to an ad where it is that pop-up but it's gonna skip you because it's not meant for your web browser because it's gonna check which web browser you have because it might be a Chrome pop-up but you're on Firefox and it wouldn't make much sense you know the people who actually make the pop-ups kind of think of things but scammers don't really when they try to put the pop-ups in like sometimes you get sign-in messages um, but gmail.com we could try this right now it might not give me a pop-up it might give me a pop-up let's see there you go <laughs> first try um, your computer has been blocked and it even has the fake mouse here yeah, you can see this is my mouse, like my regular mouse. But when I go in here, it's like all smaller. Yeah. Unknown system failure. Let's get rid of that. It's got a phone number and all this. So I'll actually take a screenshot of this and I will post it on the forum right now, which this number is probably going to be gone. <laughs> you know, people are probably going to have already called it by the time that this video is posted. But yeah, that's basically what you do, and you just do them with different links. You know, you could try it in different browsers too. Let's see if we went to um, something like Firefox. So get rid of that. Let's go to Firefox. Oh, Windows update. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Alright, Firefox. Open. Open Firefox. There is one browser that doesn't really get them. Well, two of them. Actually, three of them. Brave speaker and opera um, mainly because all of them kind of have ad block built into them uh, especially brave that's like one of the main things about brave browser so that one really d doesn't get pop-ups that easily so if you're looking for a web browser not to get pop-ups in um, brave's a really good choice actually so if we try gmail.com on here yep there we go same pop-up so this one since it's a windows pop-up I guess it's just going to go on whichever browser I'm on <laughs> there you go full screen and everything but yeah um, uh, one of the ones that isn't doesn't give pop-ups too much is like T Twitter but sometimes you can get a pretty good pop-up from there so if you go T Twitter dot com <sighs> yeah 
um, to your cable, you get your flash player. This one isn't really like aggressive or anything. It's just saying upgrade your flash player. It's these things have been around forever since like the beginning of the fucking internet. These pop-ups have always been around. But yeah, so sometimes you will get a pop-up. Sometimes you won't get a pop-up. Uh, it really sometimes it also depends on the time of day because these are ads that they're running they're, these sites just display ads and the owners get paid money so scammers submit it as an ad it, and it cycles through so sometimes you'll get a, an ad or you'll get some other unrelated pop-up and then sometimes you'll get a scammer pop-up and it really depends on the time so if it's if you're in the United States if it's daytime for you you're probably gonna get a pop-up but you gotta remember for them most of them are in India I'm not saying this to be you know stereotype or anything but most of them are most of them are in India and they're actually working the night shift to scam us because their target is Americans so they're trying to scam us and their daytime is our nighttime and our nighttime is their no our daytime is their nighttime so they're working the night shift and when we go to bed there's no, there's nobody really a scam I guess so there's they probably have like a time setting with the pop-up with the ad company of when they want their ad to display or not and when I say ad I mean pop-up so yeah just wanted to make this because I always get this question you know how do you actually get these pop-ups like so much because I've made over I've almost made 400 videos on scammers and I always use pop-ups you guys know that I always well most of the time sometimes they're from live streams or just people give me IRS scammers and stuff but most of the time it's pop-ups because I like to have for fact evidence that this is a scam and that's just how I like it um, I don't really like calling just off a website. I like to have direct evidence that it's a scam. So that's why I go through pop-ups. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you got, Like I said, if you guys want to check out the VM tutorial, um, it's in the top right corner. Just click the little eye icon and that will bring you to that video. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video and it did help you out um, with your adventures, um, definitely give it a like and always remember to use a virtual machine keep yourself secure maybe even a VPN don't use your real phone number because um, these guys will try and harass you so I mean they are scumbags they're scamming in the first place they will try and harass you if they really don't like you so <laughs> use fake information use a fake name fake address all of that stuff and definitely use a virtual machine never let them on your real computer not even a pop-up don't even have a pop-up on your real computer um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time for the next, you know, cool video. <laughs> Alright, yeah, <laughs> jeez, I just made this whole outro, like, bad. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.